Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a really good Saturday bringing you to my channel. My name is Sebastian. I welcome you guys with open arms and um, I have some tea for you. So make sure you sit down, you grab a snack, you relax and enjoy this. Well, it's not really tea actually. It's kind of, kind of, kind of serious, um, but make sure to subscribe for the latest information tea slash information well anyways james charles another day another drama bitch james charles is now being canceled on twitter for doing a video using a classical indian song used in the indian culture so this is part of the video and we'll talk about it after <laughs> I have seen these type of videos done for a while now. Um, I've seen a lot of videos. I did not know where it was from. Um, people use these type, this sound, especially for like um, when something goes good or someone does a favor for you or like you get home and your spouse cleaned the fridge, cleaned the living room and, and every part of the spaces you do the ah, whatever. Um, but James Charles just did one and he got a lot of backlash because they're basically saying that he is not being, he, he's basically being racist by using a classical Indian song um, sound, you know, to do a dumb video. Um, he got so many hate comments that he actually posted an apology and um, this is what it said. So, you know, he says like 1.8 other million people did it. But of course, when I do it, I get canceled. The thing is, you guys, it's like a lot of people did it. Yes, that is true, right? I honest to God don't think that he was being racist. I don't think he was being intentionally um, uh, culturally inappropriate. I don't I personally don't think he saw that video and he thought, hmm, this could probably offend a lot of people. I don't think he did that. I honestly don't think he did that. Um, I think that, you know, it, nowadays we do have to be very sensitive. We do have to be very careful because um, we don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. We don't want to hurt anybody's cultures. We don't, we don't want that. And, you know, I tend to, when I first saw it, you know, I, you know it's from an Indian, from the Indian culture. Um, so I would, I personally wouldn't do that just because I am trying to be highly sensitive for for other people. Um, you know, for example, if somebody, you know, somebody, I don't know, sends me a meme of cocaine and Pablo Escobar because my family is Colombian. I mean, I don't get offended, but it's like, annoying do you know what i mean um so in different cultures we do have to be more careful um and we have to make sure that we respect everyone's culture i personally don't think he did it with malice i really don't i don't you know i don't but i like that he took it down he saw that his fans were offended and he took it down and he uh, well he kind of apologized but not really and you know 1.8 million other people did do it um you know i think it i think right now we just have to stay in our own lane do you know what i mean like i don't want to hear from you if i've done cocaine lately or if pablo escobar is my cousin or uncle do you know what i mean like don't do that don't 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 use other people's culture for humor or for um to make a, you know, a video. I think if you want to explore other people's cultures, you're more than welcome to in a, in a respectable way. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I hope he didn't, in my, in my thing, I didn't really like the apology because it looked very defensive. I think he should have just been like, oh, you know what, you guys, I'm so sorry. Um, I, I, 
I just did it because I liked the sound and I thought, you know, it was funny or, you know, whatever, whatever. Just kind of own up to it and let it go, but not be like, well, 1.8 million people did it. You know what I mean? So I think that kind of is getting the backlash. I think he should have just been like, you guys, once again, I'm sorry. I didn't know this would offend anybody. I took down the video and, you know, if it offended you, I'm sorry. Now, a lot of people are also saying, you know, I've read in comments from from people who are in that culture saying, well, I'm Indian and I didn't, I didn't, I'm not offended. This, people are taking it too serious. People are way too sensitive nowadays. That may be the case, but at the end of the day, it, you know, yes, right now, yes, people are very highly sensitive. That is true, but... But that doesn't give you the right to say, you know what? I don't, I don't care. People are highly, highly sensitive. I'm just gonna do it anyways. No, if you know people are, if you know that this might have an effect on somebody and it kind of can hurt somebody, or or you're poking fun of their culture, or or putting their culture as entertainment, then yeah, I think that, I think that's wrong. Um, you know, many times, like I said, I've been, I've been that. And even when I go to Europe, you know, because I'm American, people are like, well, you're, oh, another dumb American, another, you know, go eat French fries, go eat McDonald's. Like it happens to everybody, right? But one thing is for sure, you guys, we're all going to fuck up. Whatever culture you're in, wherever you are, we're always going to fuck up. Because guess what, bitch? Nobody's perfect, right? So... I'm gonna probably offend people. You're probably gonna offend me. People are always gonna be offending each other. And all we can do is, if we're being called out, say, you know what? Wasn't my, wasn't my intention to offend you and move on. That's the beauty of life. The beauty of life is to learn from your mistakes. And if you are not pointed out your mistakes, you're just gonna keep on fucking up, right? I probably say, and I, look, you guys, listen, I'm really real. You know, I'm telling you how it is. I've probably said and done things that have offended many people. And if I'm pointing out my mistakes, I will apologize. And I will fucking learn my lesson, bitch. Like, I've had to call out people for for saying, like, hey, did, is, your dad a, is your dad a drug lord? Do you know what I mean? So, anyways... Yes, we're all sensitive. We are all entitled to be. And all we can do is learn when we fuck up. So let me know in the comments. Do you think people are taking it too far? Or do you think people are right? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. And I love you all so much. Mwah.